In recent years, several accidents have occurred in which buildings have partially collapsed. Four of these incidents have been investigated by the Dutch Safety Board. The board's most recent investigation examined the partial collapse of the multi-storey car park located next to the Eindhoven Airport terminal. The building had a modern design with open floor plans. Its floors were kept light and slim by using bubble deck slab floors. A bubble deck floor is constructed from individual prefabricated slabs made of a concrete base, reinforcing steel, lattice beams and plastic spheres. Concrete is then poured onto the floor slabs. The plastic spheres mean that less concrete is required, reducing the total weight. In a conventional application, the bubble deck floor slabs span the distance between the columns in the longitudinal direction. Deflection of the slabs is the largest in the middle of the floor. The reinforcement bars ensure that the floor does not break. In the case of the Eindhoven car park, the decision was made to rotate the floor slabs 90 degrees. The floor supplier and the contractor considered this solution the best to meet the design requirements for a thin floor with a long span and gradient for rainwater drainage. Rotation of the floor slabs resulted in a vulnerable floor design as it placed seams at the locations where the deflection of the floor is the largest. No additional measures were taken to overcome this vulnerability. Owing to the coupling reinforcement bars being too short, the floor was unable to properly bear its own weight. The warm temperatures of the 27th of May brought about an additional temperature stress, causing the floor to collapse. Despite deviating from the usual construction method, no attention was given to the possible consequences of this design choice. Signals were not met with a response. None of the parties saw any reason to have reservations about structural safety, although this could and should have been the case. A shared concern for safety is not self-evident in the construction sector. The board sees a sector characterised by a limited ability to learn and a low degree of self-reflection. Previous incidents and investigations have not resulted in improvements while parties are all too ready to blame someone else. Construction projects have a complex organisation in which multiple parties are involved at different times. As individual parties do not oversee the bigger picture, the chance of error increases. This fragmentation of the construction process also leads to a lack of clarity regarding the allocation of responsibilities. As a result, safety risks go unnoticed and no control measures are being taken. The lack of one central party to monitor the overall construction process and to keep other parties on their toes is one of the most important explanations for the inadequate monitoring of safety risks. This conclusion was previously drawn by the Dutch Safety Board and it was indeed the case in Eindhoven as well. In addition, the board notes that the competition in the building sector is above all based on price instead of quality. If clients were to take safety more seriously, the level of safety would be increased considerably. As municipalities conduct less supervision, the final check of building constructions is increasingly skipped in a sector that takes insufficient responsibility for safety. The board considers it high time that the building sector takes up this responsibility and implements the necessary improvements. Improved risk management is needed throughout the building sector. Both clients and contractors must bear their share of this responsibility. To this end, the board makes recommendations in the following areas. Expand the existing construction safety governance code and make it less voluntary. Ensure clarity in the division of responsibilities and their coordination, 
appoint a single party to take over all responsibility for risk management throughout the construction process, investigate how this can be made mandatory. The board expects the construction sector to apply the principles of mechanics and the associated diagrams thoroughly. Builders are expected to adopt a professional attitude by addressing any doubts and critically reflecting on their own actions. Thank you.